Yeah, we stopped by. Driving by, this place is always crowded. We always figured we'd stop in and buy a little Mexican food. Oh. We'll link around again for the last time. Going to dinner, and then we notice look at all the sheep. Where'd these guys come from? I don't know, must be the time of the year that they bring them out here. I'm not sure what's out there, but there's not even a fence. There must be yeah, an electric. Yeah, there's a electric fence there. Oh, an electric fence. But we saw one out loose earlier, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is our satellite, the Weingard Pathway X2 for DISH. Uh, it's worked really well. We've had it for over a year. And uh, it's an automatic satellite. Just hook it up and uh, pick how many. You pick one. It, it's got a thing for one TV or two v TVs. It'll power two TVs. But uh, the one thing about that is, is the main TV in the living room and the TV in the bedroom. The TV in the bedroom uh, can only watch what satellites the TV in the living room's on. So you can't watch any of the, you know, all three satellites in the bedroom. You have to watch in the living room. Anyway, comes with uh, an XP211Z receiver and we bought an extra one for the bedroom. Works really well. Automatically finds you pick what state you're in and it automatically finds uh, All three satellites point it south and automatically finds the satellites. It's worked really well. Well we Haven't had any problems with it uh, One thing that I don't I really don't like about it is I was unaware that you couldn't watch all three satellites in the bedroom but I guess it makes sense where you can't watch all three satellites in, on both bedroom and living room at the same time because it would kick one or the other out. So I need to find if I if I can get a uh, a guide someplace on telling what channels are on which satellites, which would help out light a lot because wife stays up late and she can pick her satellite she wants to watch her programs on. And then I can just program the bedroom one to that satellite and find channels to watch while I'm going to sleep. Anyway, yeah, you can't go wrong with this satellite. It's worked really well for us. Well, our time's almost done here in Arizona. Got done here November 1st, and we're leaving April 1st. Five months down here. It's been pretty nice. Uh, weather's been nice. I think it's rained twice, hasn't it? I think so. Probably about one night it just downpoured, lightning, thunder. Probably about 30, 40 minutes, and then that was it. And then a few months later it poured down rain again, and that was it. So it's only rained probably a good twice in five months down here. Weather's been decent. It's been above 65, I believe, in 70s, and now we're getting ready to leave. Today's going to be 91. It's supposed to be in 90, 91 for the next five, six, seven days. So we're leaving in the morning on our way to Vegas. That's our first stop on the way home. We'll be there four days. Met a lot of good friends up here. Looking forward to coming back next year. We got our spot reserved for next year already. Yep. Gonna be in a different spot alongside the wall on the good side. <laughs> the side we're on now, if, if it rained for any length of time, it'd probably flood over here. So they say. Supposed to rework on the pool, so hopefully the 
when they get it all resealed and everything, the bees go away. That's mainly in the hot tub. I think they look like they're picking at the old uh, uh, ceiling. Because that's where they're normally at. Well, we'll catch up a little bit more when, on our way home back to Washington State. From Casa Grande, Arizona, Mike and Patty were out.